Why is it so hard to make a decision about DFW real estate right now? Why are so many buyers afraid to move forward? Why are so many sellers overwhelmed? I really think it comes down to three feelings, emotions, scenarios. It's fear, it's anxiety, and it is uncertainty. And I think buyers and sellers, certainly in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, are feeling that around their real estate decisions right now. And the reality is this, those things don't change the facts. Your feelings about the market do not change the facts. The fact that you feel like it's a bad time to buy does not make it a bad time to buy. As a matter of fact, it's a very good time to buy right now. The fact that you feel like you missed your opportunity to sell doesn't make it true. As a matter of fact, that is not true. The fact that you feel like your house is worth 20% more than it really is worth does not change what it really is worth. As a matter of fact, your feelings might be your biggest obstacle to success in residential real estate. Your feelings might be getting in the way. Your feelings are probably not based in the reality of the market. Now, the truth is your feelings are probably a product of headlines, of the media, of what your neighbors have told you about their one situation. What you need is to address the facts. Feelings do not change facts, but facts often do change the feelings. What I tell my kiddos all the time is that our feelings are real, but they are not reliable. All of us can become fearful or anxious or angry or elated about things that actually are not real. The feelings are real but they're not reliable. They're not based in factual accuracy. And right now, especially in the Dallas-Fort Worth housing market, we're seeing people's feelings get them in some really, really big trouble. For example, a lot of home buyers right now feel like it is not a good time to buy because interest rates are higher than they were a year ago, six months ago, three months ago. That is a fact. Interest rates are higher than they were. But it is not true that because of that, is it, a, it is a bad time to buy. Now, you might not be able to afford the same payment as you were, but we believe after 20 years in the industry and hosting you know, radio shows and writing books and teaching agents all over the country to do this, there's basically five key variables to buying a home. Five things you want to look at to determine, is this a good or bad time to buy a house? One of those is interest rate. And interest rate is not as favorable as it was. Now, it's not as bad as it's been in the past by a long shot. If you put the spectrum somewhere between 3% and 18%, as of the recording of this video right now, we're just under 7%. So clearly we're still on the low end of the spectrum, but it's higher than it was. The fact of the matter is, the other four variables, and we're not gonna go through all of them in detail now, but a few nuggets of them are, how many homes do you have to choose from? How competitive is it? How open are sellers to being negotiable? And, you know, what can you get out of a transaction? Repairs, seller credits, leasebacks, things like that. All four other variables are more in favor to a buyer than they have been in probably a decade. So the one negative rolls into the overall average and it's still a highly positive time to be buying a home in DFW. So if you're feeling that it's not a good time, that feeling is real, but it's not reliable because it actually is a good time, especially knowing that that interest rate, whether it be six and a half or seven percent or whatever it is, is not permanent. At some point in the future, you may and probably will be able to refinance that back down below that number. That's just one example. Sellers tend to be feeling right now that they've missed their opportunity. The fact is, homes are still selling at record-breaking prices, meaning for the highest a home in that area has ever sold for. Now, we're not breaking the record by 1%, 2%, 3% more every single month like we were, but we are still at the height of historic sales prices. The fact doesn't line up with how most people are feeling. Feelings don't change the facts, but the facts can change the feeling. And if you get together with an expert, you know, I'll throw our company's hat in the ring, our contact information is below. But ultimately the point is, if you get connected to a good local expert and realize what the facts are, your feelings about the market may change and your opportunities may open up. Now, the opposite is also true. Some people are thinking it's a buyer's market. Buyers are getting massive discounts. You know, sellers are having to take $100,000 hits. That's not true either. So that feeling, the feeling that everything's on sale right now and we can go start buying, you know, half off houses, that feeling is real, but it is not reliable because it's not based in facts either. 
Understanding the facts might change your feelings, open up your opportunities, change your activity, change what you do, and then put you, your family, and your finances in a much better situation. Ultimately, we're going to feel what we feel, but we don't want to linger in unhealthy feelings. We don't want to linger in feelings that are not rooted in the truth. And of course, this applies to our personal life, professional life, and our real estate life. But at the end of the day, right now, lots of people's feelings about the market are driven by things that are not the facts of the market. And it's getting in the way, especially here in Dallas-Fort Worth. It's causing buyers to miss opportunities. It's causing sellers to miss opportunities. Uh, and a lot of real estate professionals are caught up in this as well. So as you choose your professional, be very, very careful about that. Our information is below. We do help people buy and sell homes here in the DFW area. Comment below. Let us know what we can help you answer and cover. If this was helpful, share it with someone that it could help. Like and subscribe. Talk to you soon.